Okay, everyone, today we are downtown Las Vegas on Fremont Street visiting the Plaza Hotel and Casino. You can't miss this joint. It's got a big sign and lots of lights outside. Well, I guess in Vegas you can miss it. The best way to find it is to just head west on Fremont until you can't head west on Fremont anymore because it blocks off the street. You have to make either a left or a right on Main Street. From the bright running neon bulbs to friendly dealers and great value, the traditional Las Vegas experience is still alive and well in downtown Las Vegas' favorite hotel and casino, Plaza. Or at least that's what their website says. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots, or some of you call them Easter eggs, in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout-out on an upcoming video. Alright, let's check this place out. Right off the bat on the left is a food court, and that's good to know not only if you're staying here, but if you're walking around Fremont and are looking for some cheap eats. Uh, there's a Hash House A Go Go, a Brightside Breakfast and Burgers, a Coffee Bar, a Manchu Wok, there's a McDonald's, a Zabaz Scratch Mexican Grill, and a Subway. So lots of choices here if you're hungry and either in the hotel or just walking around the Fremont Experience area. And right off the registration area is, surprise, a bar. This one's called the Tractor Bar. The thing that looks like a water tower on the left of the entrance is apparently filled with biscuit mix. So if you check into the hotel and you realize that, oh my god, I left my biscuit mix at home, you just simply have to come down to the lobby and get some. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. When you do, you're automatically enrolled in the next $50 gift card giveaway here on the New York channel. If you plan on visiting Vegas in the near future, check out the link below in the description. 50 things to do and tips while visiting Las Vegas. If you happen to miss the tractor bar on the way in, don't panic. The sports bar is 20 feet away. The inside of this place is looking pretty good, and I was thinking if you had a high room facing Fremont Street, you'd have a wonderful view day and night, but then I thought about it a little harder, and actually all you'd be seeing is the top of the canopy, not much underneath. This is the Comedy Works, a comedy shop here at the Plaza, and they get some pretty decent acts. Not the A-listers you find uptown at the Big Boy Hotel and Casinos, but they do get a decent share of B-lister comedians here. Don't forget, you're saving a lot of money here downtown, and that's including the entertainment as well. We just passed the sports book and turned the corner, and guess what? Another bar in case you missed the other 12. If the hotel and casino seems a little dead, it's because I woke up bright and early uptown, headed downtown to Fremont for some breakfast and video making. Lots of hotels in Vegas have pizzerias, and while you're not going to make your hotel decision on whether there's a pizza joint or not in the place, it's really a nice convenience if you're uh, heading out of your room or heading back into your room. It's a great place to stop off if you like pizza like I do. I'll tell you what, if you like your slots, this place is really dead and you have your pick of the entire joint, uh, even this early in the morning. It just seems like it's really quiet in here today. Let's play a quick game. Suppose you were dropped off in the middle of a casino, it had no signs indicating where you were, and you were asked, are you downtown or uptown Las Vegas? How would you know? The dead giveaway is ceiling height. If you're downtown, the ceiling heights are much lower, I guess because of the age of the buildings, and uh, uptown they're much higher. And there you have it, the Vegas Plaza, a great place to stop in if you're visiting the Fremont Experience or to stay if you're staying downtown as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.